faithful spirit within us. This is our heart cry that in the midst of the tempest sea, in the midst of fiery temptations, when we pass through waters and when we pass through fire, the grace to stand for you, to stand in you and to stand with you. Lord, release upon us in the name of Jesus. Uh. Lord, we will not disappoint you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. At every point you are making boast over our lives, we will not let you down, Lord. Amen. Just as that brother did not let the pastor down, Lord, we will not let you down. Amen. And in order not to let you down, what we need is grace. Yes. For you are the one that given grace. The Bible says you are the one that is working in us both to will and to do according to your good pleasures. We therefore ask, oh Lord, grace, sufficient grace, amazing grace, sustaining grace. Lord, release upon us in the name of Jesus. Amen. We present our areas of weaknesses unto you. The Bible says we are sin abound, grace abound much more. And you told Paul, you said my grace it is sufficient for you. For I make my strength perfect in weakness. Lord, in those areas of our weaknesses, abundant grace. Ah. The Bible says, Sin shall not have dominion over us, for we are not under the law, we are under grace. Covering grace, sufficient grace, sustaining grace, conquering grace. Uh, release upon us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for your answer our prayers. Thank Lord. you, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised, Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. amen. Can you say a big amen? Amen. Celebrate God. No, I did not tell you to celebrate God and sit down. Celebrate God first. Just celebrate God wherever you are. And I want you to do one assignment for me. I love that kind of assignment. This is the assignment. You go around and at least 2,000 people. You are going to greet at least 2,000 people. Why are you looking at that? I said 2,000 people. Everybody is looking at that. Can't we act in faith? <laughs> you go and meet 2,000 people. You give them the best smile that you have smiled since morning. And you say, you are welcome to Congress. God bless you. 2,000 people, please help me do that. Spread the smile, spread the love for 2,000. It may be more, it may be more than 2,000, but it should not be less. It may be more, it should not be less. So, Treasurer, how many people have you greeted so far? Treasurer, how many people have you greeted? <laughs> ah. How many people have you greeted? It's like some people are greeting people in multiplying grace. You are multiplying the greeting. When you greet one person, you turn it to 500. My eyes are blessed. My eyes are blessed. These are yeah, blessings of the Lord. These are blessings of the Lord. My eyes are blessed. How many people have you greeted so far? Uh, 2000, 2000. He's a blessing so 
He's a blessing God And he won't I talk And he won't I talk Surely won't be black Surely won't be black My hands are black How many? The choir You are greeting and greeting yourself so that you can multiply the people, you are the greeting and the greeting and the greeting. So that you can end up in 2000. In the blessings of Hallelujah. the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. Our God, our God is good. Our God is good. Our God is good. In the blessings of the Lord. Shall we begin to come back to our seats? Anyone I touch, anyone I touch. Thank you for spreading the love. Surely must be blessed. Thank you for spreading the warmth. Thank you for spreading the smile. Thank you for spreading the joy. Glory be to God in the highest. I'm excited to be here tonight. Our God is good. Hallelujah. 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 He is a good God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Please let's settle down. I want to beseech everyone that is outside. I beseech you by the message of God. Let me speak like Apostle Paul. Please, wherever you are, please come inside. Inside is a place to be now. Inside is a place to be now. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highs. We have appreciated God, we have greeted God, and we have thanked Him for making the 38th National Congress a reality. Can we celebrate God? Can we celebrate God one more time? We cannot thank Him enough. Hallelujah. But we can't thank Him enough. Thank Him. Glory be to God. And I want to seize the moment to celebrate our fathers. Our fathers that are seated, those that the Lord has been using right from the inception, that they've been handing over the baton or baiting, if you like, and the baiting never drop in their hands. And we pick it, and it's not going to drop in our hands. I say it's not going to drop in our hands. Can I hear you believe in it? Amen. Until Christ comes and said, them shall exist and said that shall continue to grow bigger and stronger from glory to glory can i hear a believing amen in the house so i want to celebrate our fathers they are here i want to celebrate the first national president of ancestral the first national president of ancestral and we stand up i want you to look at him very well because he's all it's like he's getting younger and younger He's getting younger. I'm looking at it. Maybe it's like 30 years. Maybe I'm older than him. <laughs> Please, every celebrate Daddy Moses Marky Day. <laughs> Hallelujah. The first elected and appointed. Now, double honor. <laughs> appointed and elected national president. I celebrate you, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, there is, there is one man of God in Amsterdam. That is the ambassador of drama. He is the, he is the only ambassador of drama. But I have, some, I have somebody very close to me. Also, he caught anointing from that ambassadoria, you know, unction. And he is also using ambassador. Please join me as I celebrate the man of God with the popular, with the popular nickname of Kama Jao. Help me celebrate ambassador Johnson. I celebrate you, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, sir, for being here. And uh, he and our daddy that I just called, uh, they really play a lot of role in securing this place. Please celebrate God in their lives. Celebrate God in their lives. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. I want you to join me in celebrating I remember when we were having our congress in Ogun State, in Odeda, and we were so excited, we call him Prof. And he said, uh, he dashed us a Prof. But we collected the Prof and we keep it and we are still using it for him. <laughs> Not out of stubbornness, but out of respect. 
we cannot but respect this man of God and appreciate God in his life. He has really labored in Amsterdam as well as a former national president. Join me in celebrating Professor Pastor Olaleko Asikia. Hallelujah. I celebrate you, sir. Thank you so much. And uh, he's here with the delectable mama. Hallelujah. Mama Busayo. The mama that before I even knew Amsterdam, I knew her in evangelical films. I was just wondering, who is this woman of God? I will see it there. I will see it there. I will see it everywhere. <laughs> Please join me in celebrating Mama Busayo Azikia. You are welcome, ma. God bless you, ma. Hallelujah. And if you see me standing here today, I'm standing as an Elisha. I have an Elijah. The Elijah is here powerfully. He has been so supportive. He handed the mantle, but he's still in every way furnishing and maintaining and supporting the mantle. Please, can you help me to celebrate my father? My father and my Elijah and my leader and, and my mentor. That is uh, the young but mighty. The small but mighty. Pastor Kingsley Unwachuku, the middle past national president. I celebrate this. Uh, if this man of God, please, if, if you want to know how to write things, you can just come and cut his hands. Come and cut his hands. If you just put pen to paper, like, he will write. Please celebrate it one more time. Celebrate it one more time. I celebrate you, sir. Hallelujah. Uh, by the grace of God, as our father, as the board of trustee, as they come, and as the other members of the Amsterdam Council of Elders, as they come, I will have the privilege of coming forward to uh, welcome them because I've seen here earlier uh, Pastor or Reverend Jeremy Adepoju. And I've also met with a pastor beloved Alabi. So as they come, I will introduce them. But meanwhile, can we all celebrate them in absentia? Let's celebrate them in absentia. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Please, I want to crave your indulgence. Because it will not be complete if I read my welcome address without having the board of trustees here. And actually, I have the mind of um, keeping the welcome address to tomorrow when we are having the opening ceremony so that we can read it once. So I want to crave your indulgence that we postpone or we shift that till tomorrow. Hallelujah. So please pardon us. I will just give my welcome charge. Just give my welcome charge. We just go into the word of God. And then um, we we'll do one or two things tonight, then we'll wrap it up. Glory be to God in the highest. Glory be to God in the highest. I want to celebrate all the fathers that are here too. Uh, because I'm made to understand that we have fathers here too who have labored um, just like our ministry. We only see few people on the stage, but a lot of people backstage. So we have fathers, we have mothers. We have people that have labored, you know, backstage for this association. They may not have even held positions, but they have moved this association forward. Please uh, join me in celebrating this father that I now miss. Celebrate God in their lives. We celebrate you, sons. We celebrate you, mass. Glory be to God in the highest. I want to celebrate the board of national executive, the people that we are running this race together. I want to celebrate the NEC, the National Executive Council, Particularly the state chair, men chair persons. Please, can we celebrate them all together? Thank you for this journey, for this one year. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. It can only get better in this second lap. In the mighty name of Jesus. Alright, please, can we open our Bible to the scripture that has become the golden verse. The golden verse for our Congress this year and that's the acts of the apostle acts of the apostle chapter one acts of the apostle chapter one verse 11 i wait for us to all open it together 
I want us to read it together. So if you have opened it, please come on rise to our feet. Come on rise to our feet so that we can read this particular scripture together for the first time. For the first time under this Congress. Acts chapter 1, verse 11. I could see a few people standing. We are waiting for the rest of us. The Lord is your strength. Let's rise to our feet as we find it. As we find it, let's rise to our feet so that we can read together. Glory be to God in the highest. All right. Thank you, more people. A fewer people are still um, seated. Please. Okay. I think we are good to go. Can we read it together? One, two, let's go. Which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you unto heaven, shall so come in like manner, as ye have seen him go into heaven. May the Lord bless his word in our heart in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Please be seated. This happened when Jesus was ascending into the heavens. After he has resurrected and he has shown himself and he has related and he has interacted and he has communed and he has fellowship with the disciples, particularly the apostles for 40 days in between his resurrection and now. So now, he was to ascend to heavens. And while he was ascending to heavens, he said something. He said in verse 8, And you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem. In uh, all Judea, in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the world. He has said that. And before that, he has said again and again that I will not leave you comfortless. That the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, he will come. He will guide you into all truths. He will remind you of all things. He has said that again and again. But when he was going... When the reality was dawning on the apostles that this Jesus had been making things to happen to us, is finally going. The first time he went, he was crucified. They thought they've lost him. When he resurrected, they said, thank God we have been able to reconnect. So they've been enjoying the fellowship, sweet fellowship, the communion for 40 days. Though they were thinking it will last forever because he's now resurrected. He's dealing with them in a resurrected form. So he will not die again. <laughs> So they are enjoying this. All of a sudden, Jesus had to ascend. And as he was going, Kai, the verse before this verse 10 made us to realize, verse 9, verse 10, made us to realize that he has even completely disappeared out of their sight, but they were still looking at the heavens. They were still fixing their gaze at the heavens. I don't know what was going through their minds. Maybe they were thinking it would be an immediate thing. Maybe Jesus was just doing a drama. You know, like we are drama minister. That he has gone and will come back now. That, that, the other time it was three days. Maybe this one will just be three hours. He went for three days. The other time he resurrected. He ascended. Maybe for three hours he will descend. <laughs> they were, you know, fixing their gaze. They didn't want to leave that place. A lot of things were going through their minds. They were counting their losses. They were counting their losses. Because it seemed as if they were not ready. It seemed as if they were not made. It seemed as if um, Christ has not finished work on them. Because he, before he could even gather them back. After the resurrection, it took some effort. So they felt they have lost all. Despite the assurance and the reassurance. That I will not leave you comfortless. Holy Spirit will come. And he even said particularly like I said in verse 8. You shall receive power. A few days from now. And actually that happened just about 10 days. According to Bible scholars. It happened about 10 days after then. 
Yet they fixed their gaze to heaven. And God had to deploy two angels to come and pick them or pinch them back to reality. The Bible says, two men dressed in white apparel. That's verse 10. So, they were the ones that were not calling attention. Stop looking up. Stop looking up. Please look down. That one is a concluded, is a concluded activity in the realm of it is written. Which is characteristic of the life of Jesus from the beginning to the end. That one is a concluded, it is written activity. You cannot do anything about it again. Come down. Look down. You know, I was wondering why, why, why two angels? Why two angels? I think one angel should be enough. <laughs> but it had to be two angels. And I was just looking at it that does it mean, you know, as I was praying last time, the Holy Spirit was just bringing that into my heart. That does it mean that, okay, the two angels is symbolic of um, judgments of God. When one matters of judgment, are to be executed or are to be spoken about or are to be foretold. It's like two angels are involved. Because I remember that when Sodom and Gomorrah was to be executed, you know, it said the Lord and two angels, you know, came. Hallelujah. So I was thinking, okay, this one now, the two angels were foretelling the judgment that will come. They were foretelling the judgment. The judgment of the saints the judgments of the unbelievers, the judgment of the world. They were saying everything within that is coming back. That is coming back. Hallelujah. But that is not our emphasis. Our emphasis in this congress are just three words. They are just three words. And those three words are this same Jesus. Can somebody say it with me? This same Jesus. I can't hear you again. This same Jesus. Louder. This same Jesus. Now use drama voice to project this. This same Jesus. And those are the three words that have been ringing in our consciousness, that have been ringing in our mind that we are splashing before us, that we are putting before us every time that we are talking about Congress. We said this same Jesus. This same Jesus. I remember the video I put up. You know, I was shouting this same Jesus. I was making it a danceable, <laughs> danceable mantra. This same Jesus. And um, I'm just trusting God because the Lord has prepared his servants. Thank God, Reverend Ajay Tomobi Samson. The Lord has prepared him. Thank God for. Um, Evangelist Shola Michael Agbola, God has prepared him. Thank God for daddy. Daddy, my baby, God has prepared him. God has prepared his servants in word. God has prepared his servants in different forms, in different formats, in different means, in different uh, media to be able to labor over this topic till the Lord makes us what he wants us to be. But I, as a language person, I just want to dwell a bit on the two words, the two modifiers. We call them modifier if it's before the now. We call it quantifier if it's outside the, the main word, the head word. So these two words, this and same. This and same. I just want to dwell a bit on it. Just want to trust God to call our attention to some things concerning it. And let me start with this word, this. And you know when we say the word this, it has a twin brother. What is the twin brother of this? That. In language we call them demonstrative. Because they are pointing at something. It can be demonstrative pronoun or demonstrative adjective. But we call them demonstratives. Because we use them to point. They are pointers. But while this, we point to something that is within reach, 
something that is on our side, something that is close to us, or something that we are touching, that will point to something that is at the other side, that is afar off. Now, does it not occur to you, sir? Does it not occur to me, sir, that these angels are saying this for a Jesus that is at the other side? He has ascended, he has gone to the other side. He is no longer, he has disappeared. The cloud has taken him up to heaven. And the angels are here on this earth with them. And they are saying this. I believe they should have used that. Hallelujah. Yet they use this. And the Holy Spirit started speaking to me. Concerning this matter of this. That in your life. Is it this Jesus or that Jesus? In my life. Is it this Jesus or that Jesus? Is there enough relationship? Is there enough koinonia fellowship? Is there enough communion with Christ? Is there covenant relationship with Christ to the point that I can say this Jesus. Do I feel his presence? Do I think his presence? Do I speak his presence? Hallelujah. Is he with me? Am I a Christ carrier? Do I have him on my side? Don't forget we say it is when he's on your side, we use this. Is he on my side? Can we confidently say, like the psalmist, he said, Do I walk through the valley of the shadow of what? Or the valley of the shadow of death? I will do what? I will fear no evil for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. He is so confident. He is so convinced. He is so sure of the presence of God. He is so sure that it is this Jesus that he could walk through the valley of shadow of death. And he knew nothing would happen. Glory be to God in the highest. Brethren, how is our fellowship? How is our communion? How is our relationship with him? Is he with us? I remember when the Bible was saying something in um, Romans chapter 10, verse 8. He said, but the word is 91. Number two, he said, is in your mouth. Then number three, he said, is in your heart. How close? 90. I can feel him. He's in my mouth. I speak him. He's in my heart. I think him. I think about him. My thoughts are full of him. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. See, one thing I realize is this, sir. The more we relate with him, the more his grace and his aura rub on us. Hallelujah. It's simply the law of diffusion and osmosis. Do you still remember that? I don't know whether it's chemistry or... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's biology, Abby. Osmosis and uh, fish. The more, the more we relate with him, the more his grace, the more his aura rubs on us. That's why, you know, at the point he was saying that 
Come, let us reason together. Do you remember that scripture? Now come, let us reason together. You know, I, I discovered that at times when God is calling us to come up here, to come up unto himself, he actually wants to set off the process of osmosis and division. He actually wants to set up the process of working on us, rubbing on us what we are missing. That when we come to his presence, when we come to him, those little, little morning devotion that seem not to matter, that we miss at will, they are opportunities that we will have God will have availed to rub on us more of his grace, more of his presence, more of his power. Hallelujah. I remember one time I was in fellowship general secretary, Redeemed Christian Fellowship. Then in Nigeria, I was the general secretary. You know, I I was to handle we were to handle a fellowship. Where is it? I was the moderator of the you know, I would take announcement and would moderate. That's what I would always do. But you know, there was one day when I finished doing that, you know, somebody was saying, ah, you know, the way you moderated, the way you handled it, it was so different. You've been with God. He was saying, you've been with God. You, it's like, I was not preaching, but he was seeing the aura, the presence of God with me. I want to ask you, sir. I want to ask you, man. Please. What did Moses go, go to do? What did he go to do on the mount with the Lord? Did he go there to pray? I'm asking you, sir. You are not responding, no. For those 40 days, did Moses go to the presence of God to pray? Answer me now. Or the Bible tell us that he was praying. Please talk to me. He wasn't praying, was he? Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. Glory be to God in the highest. Celebrate God. Celebrate God. Put your hands together for the Lord Jesus. Put your hands together for the Lord Jesus. Put your hands together for the Lord Jesus. Please, can you rise to your feet? Can you rise to your feet and celebrate God? Celebrate God. Celebrate God. Celebrate God. Keep on celebrating God until our fathers, our leaders are seated. Keep on celebrating God. Keep on celebrating God. Keep on celebrating God. Keep on celebrating God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. Glory be to God in the highest. You are welcome, sirs. Please, you can be seated. I, after this um, um, short uh, message, I will do the proper introduction of our fathers that have just come in. Now, back to what we were saying. You and I knew, according to the record of the scripture, that Moses did not go to the man to pray. He wasn't praying at all. For 40 days. He wasn't praying. In fact, I could say from what I gather in the scripture that for 40 days he was not reading the Bible. For those 40 days, God was just dishing out instructions. God was just giving him the laws. And he was writing it down. Okay. There are some evil laws that do not concern Moses directly. There are some laws that they, they call them, you know, like the social justice law. Yet, those are the things God was telling him right in the presence of God there. And those are the things he was doing for 40 days. Hallelujah. I was wondering, this man did not pray. This man did not read the Bible. This man did not pray in tongues. If there had been revelation of the Holy Ghost in that realm of a tongue then, there was none anyway. This man did not do any of this. But when he came down, the first 40 days, there was an issue. He had to go back another 40 days. And he repeated the process for the other 40 days. The same thing, God was giving laws. Laws. The commandments. The social justice laws. All manner of status. All manner of judgments. All manner of injunctions. He was writing down. That was what he was doing in the presence of God. Going so well. And at the end of the second 40 days, 40 plus 40, what is that? I can't hear you. The Bible says when he now came down, when he came down after the 80 days, the Bible said they could not look at his eyes. Oh. 
Did you read it in your Bible? He said, because the skin of his eyes were what? Shining. That to the point that whenever he wants to address them, the Bible says he will use veil. So, this matter of his presence, cultivating his presence, making his presence your habits, making his presence your discipline, making his presence your manner and your custom of life, is more than just because I want to go and ask something before God. Hallelujah. So, I could just say, I'm coming to the presence of God and I just worship God and I, I leave. A lot will have happened in that time of worshiping God. Amen. I could just say, I was coming to the presence of God and I will not even utter a statement. I will just sit down and I will meditate and I will leave. A lot will have happened in the process of that meditation. So I'm telling us, sirs and mass, that all what we need is cultivating that constant, consistent relationship, fellowship, koinonia with him. That is what matters. Just like the film of one of our fathers, he's all that matters. Hallelujah. So I'm challenging us, this let it be this Jesus, not that Jesus. Let it be the Jesus you have relationship with. Let it be the Jesus you have communion with. That's my emphasis. Anyway, I've told you that I'm not a preacher. Just to stir us up on this true matter of this and same. And when you have found a process when you have found a virtue when you have found a value in the Lord then consistency is the game and that's the word same same this same 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 he was talking about Jesus himself he said this Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Same. Somebody say same. This word same is connoting consistency, constancy. I remember the scripture in James chapter 1 verse 17. It says, every good gift and every perfect gift is from who? It's from above. From, the, from God, the father of all lights, in which there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. You know, I, the word variableness now, you know we are, we are mighty, uh, at least we have gone through much. <laughs> we know variables. We know constant and variables. Alright? Praise the Lord. You know variables change. They are changing like this. And variable can be represented with B. And that B can be anything later on. Variable can be represented with X. And that X can be anything, anytime. But when they say 2 plus X, that 2 is constant. It's not going to change. Praise the Lord. If X changes to 5, 2 will only add to it. If X changes to 10, 2 will only add to it. If X changes to 100, 2 will only add to it. Hallelujah. He said, there is no variableness. Then he said, no, it's shadow of turning. You know, how they read time, then was, we had the sun is, you know, casting the shadow. They have a sundial. And that's what they will use. Okay, see, so is this thing. It's not, it's not turning anywhere. It's not changing anywhere. And what I want to bring up from this is just simply the matter of, the matters of Christian disciplines. Hallelujah. One man of God was preaching at the point and he was talking about him. Um, he told the story. I think I saw it online. He told the story of um, one sister. You probably might have heard of it. That that sister now, um, 
he committed her to the charge of uh, children that were born under his uh, ministry. That he didn't want those children to just scatter everywhere so that that sister will be in charge. Those are the children that, you know, waiting mothers received under the, you know, unction and the grace of God upon the life of the man of God. And you no, know, he committed that woman or that sister to it. And the sister was so constant and committed. He said, we'll see the sister, she will carry some of them. She will be, you know, you know, singing lullaby. For some of them, she'll be doing this. She was so committed to it. He said she was ministering one day when she heard that that sister just suddenly fell and died. He said, straight away he went to the place. And he said, he came to where the sister was laid and he started calling the name of the sister. I am not a good um, person that keeps names and that. He started calling the name of the sister. That sister, rise. This sister, rise. And after a while, that sister came back to life. And the sister was telling the pastor, he said, sir, why did you bring me back? That I've gone through six gates. They've opened it. That the angel was opening the seventh gate. That was when I had my name from you. And the angel closed the gate back and said, your pastor still needs you on that. Glory be to God in the highest. Sir, what are you known for? What is that Christian value, Christian virtue? What is that constant? That we can say, this person, this same person. I was looking at it. Look at Tabitha, also called Docas. Some, some widow said, no. Tabitha cannot die like this. They had to send for Peter far away. They waited. And when Peter came, they were saying, look at what she has done for us. Peter had to wake her up. Hallelujah. You know what that pastor said? The first pastor I mentioned. He said, there are some of you that when such a thing happens to you, even when we are, when we are praying, God bring him out there. We will know within ourselves that this man doesn't even deserve but we are just, we are just saying, saying it, God can have mercy. Brethren, I think it is time. It is high time we arose. And start making Christian disciplines indeed discipline. Our discipline of money devotion, sir. Our discipline, we call it quiet time in some other places. Our discipline of consistency in prayer, consistency in Bible, personal Bible study, our consistency in personal evangelical effort. More than just we have a ministration somewhere for drama. The Lord will help us. This is my body. Please shall we rise to our feet. Oh God. Oh God. Pray that we want us to pray. I want us to cry to God. That the Lord will help us. To build valid and valuable relationship and communion with Him. Hallelujah. Sorry, did you hear me, sir? I can't hear you. Did you hear me? Lord, help me. Actually, anything that needs to be done can only be done through the help of God. We'll share, you know. David said, He said, With the help of my God, I've left. Over the wall, with the help of my God, I've run through a troop. It is grace. Bible says in John chapter 1, verse 16, He said, Of His fullness, we have received grace for grace. So we cry to Him, Lord, help me to build a valid and valuable relationship with you. Relationship that will last the challenges, the trials of life. Relationship that will last the problems, the vicissitudes of life. Help me to build such relationship with you. Shall we pray in the mighty name of Jesus? Lord, help me. Help me to build a relationship valid, valuable, intense relationship with you. Help me, O oh Lord, to pay serious attention 
to my communion and communication with you. Help me to build serious, serious fellowship and cononia with you. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. I will lead this final prayer, but please let me just paint this picture. You know, I waited on the Lord. We waited for our seven years before, before we get our first child. You know, when we got the child, you know, we'll be paying more attention than those that did not wait. <laughs> so we'll be paying more attention to everything. Everything. You know, there was a time we bought a worker for the child, and I was just, his hand could not get to the, you know, to the ground. And I, I, I was, we were eager. We will be trying to adjust it. I should be using this thing now. <laughs> You know, it will be trying, you will be trying to do it like this. You, you, you must use it. Ah, you must use it. But all of a sudden, one day, I just look at him like this. He was just standing up and he was just walking on this something. And I said, ah, how did, when, how or when did this one happen? I've been watching it. It's like I'm looking at him. He didn't grow like that. But he has all of a sudden started walking. You know what that one means? A little here, a little there, lines upon lines, precepts upon precepts. Those devotions that we miss daily, they are imparting on us one way or the other. As we are missing, it's imparting. As we are missing, it's breaking us down. That's why we must embrace discipline, Christian discipline. I read a book. I used to read. I used to receive that uh, act. I'm sorry that I'm keeping you waiting. I'm sorry, sirs. I'm sorry, I'm keeping you waiting. I just want to make a case. Then I will lead a prayer. I read that 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 magazine there. Acts. We must now paint a picture of our daily devotion. It says like when somebody have a pot filled with water. It's now every day. It's not picking just a pebble. A pebble. That means small stone. He's just strain into the water every day. He's strain into the water every day. He's strain into the water every day. At the point, what will happen when the pebbles get filled? What will happen to the water? The water will have been displayed. He compared the water to our weakness, and he compared the pebbles to the strength of God. The strength of God is not just under anointing to be released on you like this. Bah! And that is it. A little here, a little there. Lines upon lines, precept upon precept. Please, can we pray? Lord, teach me to have a daily and consistent devotional life. Teach me, God, we have to teach you. Teach me to have a daily and consistent devotional life. That's the prayer I wanted to pray. Can you go ahead and pray in the mighty name of Jesus? Despite my many challenges, despite my many busy schedules and schedules, Lord, teach me to have a daily consistent devotional life. Teach me. Teach me. Teach me, Lord. Teach me, Lord. Thank you, Father, Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Hallowed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Lord, this is our heart cry. That irrespective of our schedules, so tight, so busy, Lord, you will teach us by your Spirit to cultivate daily consistent devotional life. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will teach us to imbibe valuable Christian disciplines. In the name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Can I hear a believing? Amen. Please let's put our hands together for the Lord Jesus. Let's be seated. I want to seize them um, some few minutes to introduce our fathers like I promised that when they are around I will quickly introduce them by the grace of God the Lord has blessed us with the gift of fathers in Amsterdam can we celebrate God can we celebrate God
You know, somebody said, when you have a father, you will go farther. Hallelujah. And we've been privileged to be able to stand on the shoulders of this giant to see far. Celebrate God again in the life of our fathers. So I want to start. First of all, I want to appreciate God in the life of our daddy. The chairman of the board of trustee is here. The, our father, that the name of um, his um, ministry has become the name that all our films are identified with. And it's in order. Because um, every toothpaste has become close up. Am I right? Every cooking cube has become Maggi. Am I right? And we love it that way. Please help me celebrate our daddy, Daddy Mike Bamiloye. We celebrate you, sir. We celebrate you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah, sir. You are welcome, sir. Hallelujah. We also want to celebrate our, our daddy. In fact, recently I was still uh, arguing with somebody. Ah, she, daddy, you know, she, she, daddy, you know, you know, concerning some film, concerning some uh, this thing. And uh, we want to thank God that uh, the Lord has been helping him, making powerful impact across concerning evangelical film. We want to thank God for the excellence. We want to thank God for the precision. We want to thank God for the wisdom in the ministration. Please join me in celebrating the secretary of the board of trustee. And that is uh, the second daddy Mike. <laughs> daddy Shola Mike Agbola. You're welcome, sir. Thank you so much, sir. And I want to thank God in the life of my personal father. Because the ministry throws me up in Amsterdam. You know, we have um, three legs of the tripod of Amsterdam. We have independent drama ministry. We have the denomination now base ministry and we have the campus base. So I belong to the denominational base one. And that particular denomination, uh, my father is here and is a member of the board of trustee and not just a member, is a treasurer. Please join me in celebrating our daddy, daddy Paul Adaramola. I celebrate you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. This man of God, our daddy, he was there right from the beginning of Amsterdam in the east. Hallelujah. After Amsterdam had started for some time and it was time for the east to flow in this grace of Amsterdam. Our daddy was there right from that time and he has served as a member of the board of a national executive and a thank God for the promotion he is a member of the board of trustee today. Please join me in celebrating a member of the board of trustee from the east, Daddy Damian Duru Ewuru. I celebrate you, sir. Hallelujah. Daddy, you are welcome, sir. So, um, glory be to God in the highest. As other member of the ACE comes around, are we... All right. Sorry, let me use my physical Google. This one is not a... <laughs> Is that God? All right. I introduced him in absentia the other time, and thank God he's here. Uh, one of for for his life. He's a man of many parts. He's a man of many parts, combining a public service to church service con with a drama ministry, and even particularly also with marriage ministry. Please uh, help me in celebrating uh, Reverend Jemi Adepoju. Reverend Jemi Adepoju. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. I've celebrated in absentia. <laughs> All right. My father also, right from the same denomination, is also a former national president. I love the name. Because um, the name is the general name of the believers. But he has um, monopolized the name. He has monopolized the name. Let me celebrate our daddy. That is a pastor beloved. Alabi. I celebrate it, sir. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. So, um, I want to thank God for the privilege. And uh, I want to appreciate God. 
that we are here and can we just under one minute can we just rise to our feet everyone please can we rise to our feet and um, mommy ah and while we are standing please let's rise to our feet I want to celebrate uh, mommy Adara Mola please let me celebrate mommy Adara Mola I'm sorry mommy mommy I will go and see no more I'm sorry man. <laughs> hallelujah Please, can we all lift up our hands and appreciate God? Look at this number. Look at this attendance. And we rose from our individual homes, taking different vehicles, different conditions of vehicle, different conditions of the drivers of the vehicle, different conditions of the roads that we took. And we are all here. No evil occurrence. No ugly occurrence. No emergency. No each, no accidents. Shall we all lift up our hands and say, Lord, we thank you. Thank you for Johnny Versus. Thank you. You have done it again this year. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we bless you. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Lord, you are worthy. And as we thank him, I want us to also thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the rest of our bed that we still set up tomorrow. That we still join us. Thank you for it to be Johnny Versus for them. Go ahead and appreciate him. Lord, we bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. Glory be to your name, O Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Please let us um, kindly sit down. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Can we please put our hands in our treasuries as we bring out the first offering for this congress the lord bless you in jesus name why the conference choir will give us a danceable number can we please rise to our feet with jesus joy in our heart as we bring our offerings before the lord the lord bless you in jesus name choir after which secretary general will be coming up for announcement and then we take the closing prayer for tonight hallelujah uh, receive 